Okay, now we're going to do the second problem. Um, uh, so basically, this is like the one that we did that I just did, uh, but now we're recombining uh, the two. All right, so now we've recombined these two. Uh, if you remember, uh, now the quantum amplitude, I'm just going to call it the QA for now, um, is a little different for this one because now we need to add it from both uh, from both channels. Uh, so um, let's just start on the top channel. So we're going to get uh, plus x, again, we're moving our way back, plus y, plus y, um, uh, plus x. All right, so now I've just gone from here to here to here. All right, um, uh, but now we need to add the bottom channel too. So it's the plus x, so minus y, minus y plus x, all right? Uh, the nice thing is we've actually already calculated this actually in the last problem. So if you've watched the last video, we actually already calculated this. This is just equal to 1 half. Um, uh, so let's go ahead and, and calculate this one. Uh, um, the plus, uh, and again, uh, so I, let me just make sure that you know what the plus y vector is. Uh, the plus y vector is just equal to uh, square root of 1 half i square root of 1 half. It's the same as the minus y, but in this, this, this i is positive instead. Um, so uh, we get uh, plus y, which is um, uh, square root of one half, square root of one half. We get plus y, which is square root of one half, i square root of one half. All right, and that's going to multiply. Again, remember we need to change the sign as we turn this on its side. 